which are going to cover OTT as well. There's a furious debate on right now. You see this need for the government to police OTT apps, this huge uh, OTT explosion that we have seen in the last couple of years. Will that actually happen? Or are we going to throw the baby out with the bathwater? So my point of view is, first and foremost, I think the 18 apps which have been banned, I think it's a welcome move. Uh, and if I compare this move to any other industry, like a restaurant industry or, yeah. or transportation, it always are bad apples. Right. Uh, like I went through the names of these apps and to be uh, very frank, I couldn't recognize any of these people. And right. I think that's all happening because uh, there was a time when shooting used to be a rocket science. Today, anybody with a phone can become a director. Yes. Anybody can open a PD app. There's no entry barrier as such. Yes. So I think somewhere down the line, a regulation is important. Right. Uh, for those, and if I compare it to any other business, agar, if, if there are some great builders or great people who are building some great buildings, there'll be some people who were scamming people by building substandard buildings by uh, having, uh, you know, bad cement or, you know, right, bad construction. Right. Sure. Enough, uh, there are people who will find these shortcuts because everybody is in this, uh, uh, you know, this uh, rut to create, get followers. And I right. think somewhere content gets faster followers, whether it's just the OTT content, which uh, the gentleman was speaking about, or whether it's, you know, even, even on Instagram or Facebook, you will see certain pages which attract followers on the basis of your explicitness. Now, this needs to be controlled in a certain way. My only view is that uh, it cannot be just arbitrarily and, you know, the, the, the formation of this regulation has to be in sync with people from the industry as well. Right. Uh, like the, the reputed brands of uh, OTT players. Yeah. Uh, and I, for a fact that they've been regularly conversing with the ministry and uh, Mr. Anurag has been very, very open uh, for conversations. Yeah. And there are a lot of productive conversations which have happened and a lot of things have been you know a lot of things do not come to the media or public light but a lot of evolutions have been done to control or uh, content which can you know maybe have a negative effect to the society right i compare the same to an animal or any other thing because those are sensor certified films yes but having these are like preposterous the right. the 18 right so Something, something needs to be done. But my uh, point of view is that it has to be in sync with people. If I want to regulate restaurants, yeah. there has to be support from people from the food industry as well. Similarly, if I'm looking at some kind of a regulation in the right, uh, right. Uh, this place. So, you know, there are people, there are uh, associations, there are unions, there are things like that. Because one right. film involves around 500 people in it, whether it's the shooting crew, whether it's marketing, whether it's distribution. Yes. And nobody make a i mean some people want to make films and some people most of the people want to make legacy right. films or stand through the test of time right and this is shortcut view only a selected few who do not respect the industry who do not uh, understand the industry and they are looking for the easy way to get followers right absolutely grish uh, yeah sort of this sort of do you think that's uh, feasible practical the thing of uh, you know censoring uh, online content can can that be done Keep well, see, we can't general, generalize things. You can't say right. these kind of people. Right. See, we are not community. OTT are people, humans like us, people yes. who are running these plans. They are job opportunities and they get selected. You know, Indians are the ones who are, who are part of the system. So you can't right. generalize ki, oh, guess the right. first and foremost. Second, yes, there has to be a regulation. But, yes. you know, you cannot have these uh, firm policies without the participation of the industry. Right. The industry already knows the you know, the pros and cons of censorship right, and things like right. that. And, and we are responsible people. Right. You can't take a bank card or Aadhaar card because today data leakage is another problem. Which yes. we are, today I get so many uh, calls that I fear giving my number to somebody. So, right. uh, so uh, it's another issue which we need to do. So, so it's not just one particular thing which we need to address. There are yes. several things to that. Having right. said that, I mean, I, I am sure Girish will agree to what I'm saying that the 12 or the 18 sites which have been banned or right. whatever numbers they, we've never even heard of them. So, I mean, I sitting in Mumbai in the heart of the industry, if I have not yeah. heard of them, who are the people sitting in Merit recording it as the gentleman yeah, said? So, right. we really don't. So, like I said, there's no entry barrier. Tomorrow, right. somebody can go and work to and just uh, Absolutely. shoot the. Yes. Yes, Saurabh. Uh, closing comments 